Hi everybody, here's a look at some Jewel Thief circuits I put together recently in the past few months. This is actually based on one of my low frequency Jewel Thieves that I made about a year ago, but I just put a really big honking knife switch on the top there. And that flashing that you see, that's the actual frequency at which it resonates, at which it uh, is oscillating about, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 hertz or so. That's why it's a low frequency Jewel Thief. It's not your typical 1 to 100 kilohertz. It's down in the hertz range. This other one is just, I was just following the, my idea where I put really big switch on one of my Jewel Thieves. Well, how about I put an even bigger switch on another Jewel Thief? So this is just a really big 60s vintage, probably, rotary switch rated for 500 volts and 30 amps and just just a regular Joel Thief circuit on there I have the uh, the transformer is actually in uh, a common mode choke that I got off of a small switching supply and the transistor what is that a vintage 78 vintage 2N5662 that I had laying around and then the third one here that's just a, I had this transformer toroid here that was already mounted on the board and even that toroid you can see it's got lacquer on it and all wrapped around in this nylon string here. Very well made, very well mounted on this piece of wood and very nice binding post down here. And on the back it says 0.695 millihenry and then 0.64 millihenry on this side it was probably used by uh, by a teacher for um, instruction or demonstration of, of magnetic circuits and magnetic coupling or whatever but um, so I had it I decided to make a jewel thief out of it very very simple everything there's nothing special here but this this is the special part up here so that's three Jewel Thieves recently. I'll probably be making lots more different Jewel Thieves, not with, with uh, maybe with other really exaggerated parts. Instead of a, instead of a giant switch, I'll have a giant, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. See you later.